Hey guys, it's me, Rose Angel, and I'm here to discuss Inuyasha, the Final Act English dub that just finally came out. I've been waiting for so long for this, thank God. I'm happy that everyone's the same, but Kagome and Shishomaru. Shishomaru is fine because he has of many animes, so I'm um, like, you're good, and I love his character. And he's had his voice before. Like in Grand Double O, he played one of the Trinity Brothers, and he was hot. Anyway, Kagome's new voice actress. I gave her one chance. She blew it. I'm sorry, but no. No! She sounds like an annoying little girl. Like a 12 year old. Imagine that. Sound like this almost. No. Please, no. Because I've been, I've been holding, ever since Monica either retired or quit, I'm not for sure. And I've always loved her voice at Fikagome because she's supposed to sound mature and older as a 15 year old so like this for my voice Makagome voice is, is just like this Try, almost like Monica's almost but still like this almost close to my voice but still I am highly disappointed but since she's new I'm giving her one more chance since she has worked with uh, Kelly Sandern and the, the lady who voiced Kikyo in Barbie movies I'll give her one last chance. If she improves over the season, then okay, I'll be alright. I'll be okay, but it's gonna be really hard getting used to you because, yeah, I mean, I was really curious with Max B. Whitehead because she sounded just like, almost like Aaron, just me from Full Metal. And one thing, Aaron Dismuke is hit puberty, so it's not his fault. Max B. Whitehead did a great job in Alphonse on Brotherhood. So I was fine with her with the voice change. I didn't because I was expecting for, for a new voice actor to play him, and I knew it was going to be by a girl or maybe a new little boy, maybe. But we got Master Whitehead. Anyway, back to Inuyasha. Yes, I'm hoping that she pronounces the damn names right. She freaking better. Ugh, because I hate it when anime characters and the voice actors don't compare the names right. I don't want her to say like Inuyasha or. Miro Q or Sango, she better not say it wrong. Oh, if she does, I'm gonna get, to, I'm gonna cringe. Oh, I already had enough of that with, with Clonid already. Oh, and I was pissed on and that dub too. Best drama ever. <laughs> why, why, Key? Why do you must make every everybody cry, even the men? Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> I just hope that she will get the names right, improve, and not sound stupid. I know the girl is new and stuff, and but anime dubbing is a way different level than voicing Barbie movies. Voicing Barbie movies is easy as crap, but for for anime, you have to time yourself. You gotta um act with the character and how they're feeling and stuff and the situations exactly how. Monica did a great job at Kagome all those years ago and I loved her. And I grew and I grew up with the whole Inuyasha cast ever since I was little. Like they all played X Men, Hamtaro, Gunnam Seed, everything that I could think of from uh, from the nineties at least to like early two thousands. But too bad she won't return. And I wish she, I wish she could at least repay, rep, uh, rep, 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 her voice again. I wish she did, but oh well. Or at least could have got a better actress for her who was a professional, not a noob. Like I know I'm, not, I'm, I know I'm being kind of rude and, and thing. I'm not trying to. I'm just giving my opinion. That's all I'm giving. And stuff, but still. If I was uh, able to dub Kagome, but I can't because I don't live in Canada. I live in America and I live in Texas. And, I, and, you, and the rule is you have to live in the region or you have to be a, Canadi a Canadian. That was the rule. But still, I wish, I wish I could have dubbed her or someone else like could have been better. I don't know who, but if they watched Inuyasha and seen her voice, then it would be way better. Way better. And I would have been happy with it. I, when I first hear, heard about this Kira Tozer, I'm like, I wonder who this girl is. So I looked her up, no information, but I heard she's never done, has never done anime before, and everything. And I'm like, oh great, what has she, what has she dubbed before? 
So, and she is dubbed, um, something about some girl with mask and crap. It's a stupid show. I never saw it, but it looks stupid. And a Barbie movie and stuff. That was it. That's all I saw. And it was the Three Musketeers one. She played the, the girl in the purple. And she sounded really annoying. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. She's, this is not going to be good. Because I was hoping that she, they, they wouldn't, she wouldn't screw her up. And Kagome, like I said, has to sound mature. Has to sound mature. And not stupid. Like an annoying cheerleader. Like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, shiz! Yeah. I get really annoyed by that. And oh, Kira Tozer, I'm sorry, but... Oh, I'm trying to get used to you. I'm trying. I'm hoping your voice will be good and everything. Please don't screw her up. Please. This is my favorite character ever since I was seven years old. Please don't ruin my favorite anime. Back to my um, th other things. Everyone else is pretty good. I'm happy about that. Everyone is in the same cast. Like, I know it takes a long time to remember your voices on Inuyasha and stuff. It's been like, I don't know how long since it... Okay, it ended in 2007. So, it's been... Six years. Six years at least. Richard Dean Cox is always amazing. He will always be my favorite voice actor in the world. Yes, that's right, dude. You're awesome. And I hope you keep um, doing some more animes and stuff. Uh, uh, new animes. And um, I love Kelly Sandern. I love Kirby Mar um, Morrow. I love Julian, My uh, Julian uh, Michael. Oh, I love her so much. She's awesome. She's been voicing a lot of anime since I was a little kid, and of course, of course My Little Pony. And, which, and um, of course, um, the lady who plays Kagome, who plays um, Kagome's mom, I love her too. Genku Kathleen Whitluck, who plays Kagome's mom, and her, her friend Ayumi, who plays uh, off, uh, um, Spike off of uh, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And um, I'm just glad that everybody is doing great on the Yasha stuff. But I'm still going to have a hard time with Kagome's voice. I'm sorry. I'm not, I keep repeating this and stuff, but just that how can I live with my favorite anime being tortured to death by one actress who has never done, done anime before? I mean, ugh, I was, I'm still disappointed and stuff, but. It'll take time to, um, at least, um, do it. And, I'm hoping Toonami will at least show it on TV, at least. Please, Toonami, please take it, please. After Cash and Sins, please let Cash and Sins burn! BURN! Yes, burn. In hell. I mean, I love robot animes, but I don't want to deal with fighting robots on, in their human form, please. I mean, I love Gundam, Gun Gundam. I love mecha stuff. It's awesome. Ever since I was 10 years old. <laughs> Not Transformers, no. But I love me the mechas with, with the shooting and the anime characters and the crying. Cough, cough, Gundam Seed. <laughs> and Gundam Below. Anyway, that's all I can say. And, I'll sh and if you look below, um, you'll see the Inuyasha final act clip and I hope you at least like it and I hope you thank you, thank you very much